how quickly the world has changed, of course. And as I mentioned, we've been closed since March 14th, this opportunity to take the museum outside of our walls. So we've really leaned into beefing up our virtual resources. What's most exciting about this time is figuring out new and creative ways to reach out to people who might be really hungry for exciting learning opportunities. Today you can celebrate International Museum Day with a virtual tour of one of Philadelphia's finest. The Museum of the American Revolution will have a virtual program today to celebrate Juneteenth. Well, the 4th of July, of course, is this weekend. We're hoping to not just bring you all back to the museum to be physically present here, but we hope to uh, develop hybrid events. This is a government of, by, and for the people. That just shows that I think historians haven't paid enough attention to the revolution as an innovative and pioneering period. Meet the future of the American Revolution. The Museum of the American Revolution is now back open. Everything here in the museum is open. Today is a chance to celebrate indigenous people. The museum is hosting several events to honor veterans. This is the first time that this location has been a polling site in Philadelphia. Can't think of a uh, cooler place to cast a ballot than that museum. The Museum of the American Revolution will honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and legacy. The Museum of the American Revolution opened in 2017. What is Philadelphia? Tomorrow evening, the Museum of the American Revolution is debuting an original Original choral piece celebrating its fourth year. They're going to have party events all weekend long. Place this uh, on your list of places to visit because there is such a power to being in the place, being in the presence of the real objects.